guess I gotta record for that. There's a corrupted bracelet. I am doing some shitty ghost scripts on Ghost, trying to get a faster place good real quick. I gotta go soon. Wanderer is resetting today, keep in mind in about three and a half hours, but I'm gonna be gone soon. Uh, yeah, if I could get a faster place good, I would be able to do my hard step, and then I could also do a fused Serp Helm for the Elite to get the bonus tokens on Raymond. Would love to get that, but as you can see, Ghost Crips are rough. Need to get a faster skirt and the odds are pretty low, but I'll do what I can until I gotta go. Alright, so this is a bit of an extra clip, because right after I left, Jetbus did in fact get the missing Festa Plates good, and he quickly did the exchanges for me. So the Festa Plates good was my last hard test, so all of those are completed. And then we also chucked our only few Serpentine Helm, because it's just worth it for the extra tokens. So we got a brand total of 1817, 650 bonus from that. Beautiful. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, it is now the 28th of February, I can finally commentate normally again. Some eventful last few days for sure, last few weeks have all been really good if you ask me. Um, today we are waking up to a little world boost, uh, as promised it was going to be on the 28th where we get all the boosts at once, 25% drop rate, 25% superior boss chance. But on top of that, today should be the last day of the monthly contest, right? Because it's almost March now. Alchemical Hydra kills, how are we looking right now? We are still in the number one spot. We did end up catching up last night. Um, Ty in the evening did quite a few hours for me. As you guys know, I barely got to play last night, right? I think I did a few silent clips, but nothing really happened. But I don't really remember. I didn't play much. Um, uh, Ty did a few hours for me to catch up. And then in the evening I did one hour before bed on Infernal and stuff, so I got another like 61 kills in that time. And then um, Jet Buzz did a bit more when I went to sleep to really catch up, which is just beneficial. That is the goal of a group Iron Man on these leaderboards, right? Working together, I would hope. But uh, either way, we've been grinding the shit out of Hydra. No luck, really. Ty did get a epic pet box last night, which opened for a demonic tarn pet. I did ask him to not open them in the future, though, because... I think it would be pretty painful if he ended up getting my restoration accessory, finishing the collection log, but I'm not online to record it. That would be so anticlimactic, would be the first in game to get that. I would very much so appreciate getting that on recording, for sure, one day. Under 21 boxes, bro, look at that log. Two fairies, a Borg, Brave. Only three mini bees. pretty fucking rare, they should make those a bit more common. Doppler is way too rare. But yeah, I just need this one one day. That would uh, complete the log, which would be pretty sick if you ask me. I noticed that they are tradable as well. But uh, yeah, we have a superior boost. I'm going to continue killing Hydra. I want to increase the lead a bit, make sure that even if I stop doing it, someone doesn't instantly catch up. And we're hunting Philoclaws anyway, so, you know, we'll have to keep going till it drops more of those. Not a huge fan of the boss, but, you know, at the moment may as well. 105 KC already. Like I said, he got an epic pet box yesterday. It's same drop rate. That's a little unfortunate to say the least. More superior letters would be nice. Uh, I think Ghost got a, uh, a chaps for his Wanderer at the moment. And his other tasks are looking pretty good. So if we can get a Holy Ring this week, uh, uh, like a second one, so we can chug it for his Wanderer and get some Sazami Dehind bodies for his easy task, maybe, maybe, maybe we can finish all his tasks this week. Would be really nice to get those extra tokens. We are, we've been going hard on a lot of different departments. I don't know how easy it is to tell with the way I make my videos, but we've been going hard to say the least, and uh, we've been getting a lot of new unlocks and upgrades and all of that stuff. And at the moment we're trying to get a third armaments and a second Berserker Blessing. We're going for the Berserker on Ty, which is over 3000 tokens right now, and then Ghost is at about 4000 tokens and he's going for the armaments, so huge upgrades on the way. Just. If you've done Wanderer, you know how much of a pain in the ass it can be. 
Anyway, I'm gonna go prep for some Hydra. Wish me luck, and then probably a little stream later today. Probably the plan, but we'll see when we get there. For now, let's make the most of this world boost and hopefully actually see some Phylos, because last night I did a full hour without a single one in 61 kills. That's pretty unlucky. I also feel like I haven't really shown how I do Hydra nowadays, because I've switched the my meta, so to say, a little bit, like how I do it. Uh, I always go in with the Fang of the Beast now, and then I just run straight up to the last vent, the blue one, spec it twice, and then I always hope, like I try to aim for some spec regen in that time frame, like right there, uh, with the Galvanic Boots for 15%, get it to the next phase, it won't even switch prayers yet, because I killed it before it launched the third hit, go to a maximum of 55% spec to lower this, get it down, go to the next vent, being a little bit sloppy here, I'm sorry. Go for another Fang spec into the closet. Walked away a little too early there. Generally speaking, if I don't mess up, I can get the claws in there. And it gets really close to the kill, like right here. And then I need just a few more hits to finish him off. That's generally how I do every Hydra kill at this point. Um, up to a, a PB of 25 seconds. That is my fastest one using this method. Specking like a double 150 plus at the start with the Fang of the Beast and then just knocking it down extremely fast through the final phase. One more Fang space, uh, spec on the red, but keeping it in the red and then specking it out instantly with one claw. That is basically how I get my 25 seconds uh, kills. Not sure if faster is in fact possible, haven't seen it yet, but maybe one day. Uh, just a little bonusy so you guys know how I do it. If you have a Fang of the Beast and a Berserk, a blessing to your availability if you own one as an Iron Man, 10 out of 10 would recommend get a Fang of the Beast if you don't own one already. But if you do, start using it more, because this shit is actually pretty fucking good. Um, especially like once the death is lowered, like that's a beautiful kill right there. Especially once you uh, lower the defense. With one of the defense, this Fang can literally hit like over 350s. And this is before the Shazen even gets buffed, so imagine once it's great again. <laughs> Ooh, I actually just got a 24 second kill. One second improvement, but it's one second. All right, boys, first philosophers of the day. Can we get something nice from it? That is the question. And we'll find out in just a second. It dies very quickly now <laughs> with the Dragon Hunter Lance. I stopped caring about drop rate bonus and stuff at this boss too, because it doesn't really matter. Can we get anything? Nope, absolutely nothing. That's the first Philosophers and only two times drop roll on that Chaos Luck, unfortunately. Need to get them four times for this big boy. And there is another one. Looks like my RNG is starting to turn around a little bit. All hell, the world boost of 25% more superiors. Here we go, 107 KC. Well, nice execution of Brock for a zero, there we go. Pilot Claw, please. Grandmaster Task Bottle. Not what we want to see at all. Alright, first hour completed. We saw two Philosophers during that time, not too shabby at all. Um, gonna go ahead and start another hour. You guys use the uh, Infernal Elixir time on screen whenever I sip them. You'll see a little timer. You can use that on Philo spawns or try to have it open during that time so you can kind of get an idea of how much time is in between them. But uh, yeah, hopefully the spawns continue because it is... Uh, the only enjoyable part, even though it almost always drops nothing. Well, that's freaking good, boys. We are seeing another Philosopher's Hydra. Not too shabby, about half an hour into this Infernal, more or less. Let's see what it gives, if anything at all. Whoops, wished a little too early there. Here we go. Number 108. What will it be? Come on, die. There we go. Ooh, another epic pet mystery box. Wow, okay. Getting a lot of epic pet boxes. I don't know if they're on <clears throat> if they are the same table or if they're just one in fifty each, but damn. Kinda stinks either way, because I'm missing I'm I'm rolling the wrong one in fifty, you know? Oh well, it is what it is, another epic pet box. Let's see if we can pull a nice little restoration accessory or a bark or something. Or two upgrade accessories, you know what's new. That's fine. Interrupting our current Hydra grind for a little key corp that we're doing on Flubber because he still needs the achievement and that is three intrinsic shots. Well, we only get one. No drops for us, sadly. Still trying to get a divine as well. I mean, uh, I accidentally grabbed my regular corp setup. Doesn't really matter. 
We really want to get a divide because we're closing in on five on the charts and by the time we reach that it would be nice if we could instantly make an intrinsic divide. That is a shield we uh, want to build next. We still need a few though, we're not quite there yet, but soon enough, one out of 500. I'm just kidding, we are actually at 476, really close. Alright, now we talking boys, another one just started the third hour, let's go. Here we go, good luck. For 109. Please, Chaos Luck, give me a four time drop roll. I'd really appreciate it. I'm taking a second to die. Ah, absolutely nothing once again. Unfortunate. Ooh, this one did not take long at all to spawn. Like 15 minutes later, not even. Good luck, boys. And here we go, good luck, another one goes down for nothing! Yeah, it's always nothing, ain't it? No four time roll, unfortunately, as well. And another one! Okay, our spawns are finally turning around for real. Getting some really good ones this hour. Not even half an hour in and we get another one, damn. Hopefully, this one can drop us a little Philo Claw, that is the big goal, of course. Imagine if it doubles or you get two in one kill or some crazy shit. You just instantly finish it in one kill, that would be amazing. Not counting on it, but hoping secretly deep down, you know. Will we see a good Chaos Luck roll on this one? Must a little four times. Three times, but it dropped nothing regardless. Ain't no way I'm in the middle of fucking E Corp as I get a Colossal and Ghost. Oi, timing much? That's rough. I'm gonna have to focus on E Corp first and then take down Cerberus slowly. Alright, E Corp about to go down. Any good loot? Wow, one shard again. Oh, I need a divine so bad, bro. We're getting so close. Look at all those loots. Alright, and then right into a colossal on Ghost, like I said. First ever on the account, by the way, so. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a big ass spoon with a 1k C Halley. Oh, and the main reason I'm doing it on his account right now is because it's also double boss points and he still needs like superior God Wars and all of that. He's getting close to the first one. Maybe he can already buy it. I don't know how expensive it is. But uh, just getting more perks in his account is good. The double boss points. It's AFK, so why not? Who knows? Uh, it's always fun to do a boss like this for a first time on a new account because you never know what kind of RNG that account is gonna have. Like Ty got his first Halley at like 7kc, you know? So, curious to see how that will go with Ghost. Now, I'll shut the fuck up and skip to the end of the kill. Here we go, good luck. Sacred token and 500 mil GP on the first kill. That's not too awful for a 1kc. 